I'm Jake Bruton, and today on The Build Show, we're at our BlackBerry 2 rental, and we're gonna talk about window installation, but we're not gonna talk about window installation in the, in the idea of like, this is the A and B and C of how you install a window. We're gonna talk about connecting air and water barrier from the window to the wall, those connection points, and the materials we're gonna use for those connections. So, let's install a window. So there are tons of videos about how to install a window. Very few of them actually uh, address what I feel is most important, and that's connecting your water control layer and your air control layer. So let's talk about this opening. On this house, in this section of the wall, from below the window to above the window, our air barrier is the zip system sheathing. And in this case, it's a zip R. In the opening, our air barrier is our window. The same goes for both of those. This is our water management, the windows are water management. When we connect the two though, they aren't the same connection. So this is an Anderson 100 series window, it has a flange. We'll put a little sealant behind the flange here on the sides and on the top. We mush the window into that and then we'll actually belt and suspenders, we'll tape over that flange as well. We'll leave the bottom open, we've sloped the bottom of our sill, if the window ever does leak, that water can run out. That's our water management layer. And a lot of people in, in our industry would say, well that's your air control layer too because you're caulking that and you're putting tape there and you're not because the bottom's open. So the air control layer is actually the inside face of the window in this instance. And the inside face of this window is gonna get detailed with uh, insulation, backer rod, and then Prosco's air dam. So while the window itself is still the air barrier on the interior side, that air dam sealed to our framing is our, our air barrier, which means our sill pan that has tape all the way from the outside all the way to the inside, that's our air barrier, that tape is there. On the sides here, the tape turns, but it doesn't go all the way to the interior face of our two by six wall. The actual pine two by six on the sides is our air barrier. And the same thing on the top, because we haven't completely covered those with tape, there's no reason to, we're not gonna leak any air horizontally through a two by four. It does mean that our top connections, and we've done it two different ways here, we'll lace in pictures. Uh, on, on your right, the uh, zip tape the stretch tape, we actually used a wide tape that goes all the way from inside to outside, just like it does on the sill. On the right hand side, we stepped that back a little as if we were using a narrower tape, and then we just used air dam in the corner, or uh, uh, liquid flash in the corner. You could also do that with air dam. We just used the li liquid flash because we had it open already. So now we're going to set the window in place, and we'll show that interior detail. Uh, in real time so that you can you can get a sense of what it looks like. So it's just about making these connections. Let's set this window in place. So we're on the inside, we have the interior side of our window, we have our jam, and we have air dam, Presco air dam between the two. We insulated and then backer rod, and then we use the air dam product. And I realize that this doesn't look uh, super smoothed out or anything like that. We have a jam that's gonna come in and cover this. We're way less concerned with aesthetic than we are with uh, a continuous seal between this surface, this surface, and the jam. So. Your interior side here is where your air barrier is, and by pushing that around all four sides, we're air managed on the inside, we're water managed on the outside. So now we have our air connection on the inside, and we're making our final water connections on the outside. We're leaving the bottom open so it can drain like normal. We have that Prosco air dam on the inside as our air barrier. We have our air and water barrier and our zip sheathing, our zip tape, and our window. Jacob's gonna put two more runs of tape across the top and then this window is completely done, except for one little shim in the middle underneath on a short window like this to give it a little bit of drainage. It's all about the connections. The, the fasteners and everything are there for the manufacturer. 
All of this is here for the comfort and durability of the home. Take these steps, pay attention, know where your air barrier is, know, know where your water barrier is. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.